At the age of 34, Clive Barker is a phenomenon, an award-winning short story writer, an acclaimed novelist, illustrator, playwright, scriptwriter. Now Clive Barker is making his directing debut with New World Pictures' Hellraiser, a movie that goes to the limits of horror and then takes you beyond. It's a horror film, <laughs> unapologetically a horror film. Uh, it's a horror film, I hope, which is going to have a certain uh, uh, impact simply because it, it, it deals with the same areas of uh, passion and perversity which mark my written fiction. We've got a story which is emotionally very involving. Uh, motivations which are very real, very solid, and I think performances which are really tremendous. It's okay, baby. Julia told me everything. Oh, no. See, your brother Frank is upstairs. He's, he's upstairs and he's trying to kill you. Uh, he's gonna uh, kill no, you. No, wait, wait, wait. Whatever Frank did was unspeakable. It's unspeakable. It's about uh, a man who does a deal with forces of darkness uh, in pursuit of the ultimate ex uh, experience, the ultimate physical, sensual experience, um, and gets torn apart for his troubles. I thought I'd gone to the limits. I hadn't. The Cenobites gave me an experience beyond the limits. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. The Cenobites are the creatures which pursue the movie's anti-hero, Frank Cotton, from the depths of hell and into the real world. They are ageless experts in uh, the art of refined pleasure and even more refined pain. The box. You opened it. We came. It's just a box! We've gone out of our way, Bob Keane's team and, and myself have gone out of the way to design monsters which are not going to really resemble anything that would have been seen before. That's my hope anyway. We have such sights to show you. There are going to be moments when the audience is going to be uh, stunned by the elegance and the beauty of the image at the same time as being appalled by the subject matter. And that's a very interesting tension and paradox. There is a happy ending, but not for everybody. Andrew Robinson, known to cinema audiences everywhere for his portrayal of Scorpio in Dirty Harry, stars in New World Pictures Hellraiser, a movie that goes to the limits of horror and then beyond. I think the movie is unique within the genre. I think the images, especially the images of horror and the monstrous images are unlike anything anybody's seen. And it'll be, I think it'll be a, a really interesting film. It'll be a fascinating, almost like bizarrely fascinating film. I thought I'd gone to the limits. I hadn't. The Cenobites gave me an experience beyond the limits. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. In Hellraiser, Andrew Robinson appears in two guises, playing first the mild-mannered Larry Cotton, and then his psychotic brother, Frank, a man who has done a deal with the forces of darkness in pursuit of the ultimate sensual experience. I can never think about Larry without thinking about Frank, and vice versa. One is dark, one is light. One is good, one is evil. And that, for me, is the challenge of being involved in the film. It's okay, baby. Julia told me everything. Oh, no. See, your brother Frank is upstairs. He's, he's upstairs and he's trying to kill you. Uh, he's gonna uh, kill no, you. Wait, wait, wait. Whatever Frank did was unspeakable. It's unspeakable. Working with someone like Clive was unique because Clive is basically a writer. Clive is also a visual artist. So you're working with someone 
that has a breadth to his vision, that has a depth to his understanding of what's going on. This isn't for your eyes. My feeling about this film, okay, my gut feeling, is that there's gonna be no middle ground. People are going to loathe and despise this movie, or they are going to go out of their minds about it. But who the hell knows? I mean, you know, it may like pass like two ships in the night. Or we may be run out of town. This may be the end of my career. <laughs> Critically acclaimed British actress Claire Higgins stars as Julia Cotton in New World Pictures' horrific love story, Hellraiser, a movie that takes you beyond the limits of the imagination. The challenge in playing Julia was portraying a character with highly complex motivation. I hope you see her reasons for being an unpleasant, cold character at the beginning, because hopefully you see why she's like that, how she came to be like that, and the depths that she's prepared to plumb for love. Please. I'll do anything you want. Anything. The reaction I've had from people on set, for instance, after having, after they'd seen the rushes of the killings, I mean, nobody would speak to me. But it was because a woman was doing it, basically. And I think all the women in the audience would be going, absolutely, yes. The men might be um, locking up the tool sheds. Julia is a woman consumed by a perverse desire who must turn killer to bring her lover back from beyond the gates of hell. <laughs> the days when I was working with Oliver Smith, who plays Frank in a skin. I couldn't eat lunch for two days. For me, that is serious. <laughs> I thought I'd gone to the limits. I hadn't. The Cenobites gave me an experience beyond the limits. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. I think that people who see horror films, people who are used to seeing horror films, will love it because it's different. Because it is a different horror film. I think those like me who have weak stomachs will find it quite appalling. <laughs> I think they will, they will be horrified, definitely horrified. Newcomer Ashley Lawrence makes her motion picture debut in New World Pictures' roller coaster ride of terror, Hellraiser. Ashley plays Kirsty Cotton who unlocks the mysteries beyond death and finds she must do battle with the demons of hell to save her soul. The box. You opened it. We came. It's just a bottle box! Oh no. It is a means to summon us. It's not just a slice-up movie. This film is, um... It's deeper than that. It's not just in it for the gore. There's a lot of human interest going on. Written and directed by award-winning author Clive Barker, Hellraiser is a movie that takes you to the limits of horror and then beyond. Clive Barker is wonderful. I, I think because he wrote it as well as directing it, that he knows what he wants. He just relates to you on a, an honest one-to-one -one basis. It's not this director you were working for me type of attitude at all. This is my first picture, so I trust a lot, and I'm really confident with Clive's work, and I, the crew makes me feel really good, and there's, there's just a unity. Such sights to show you. 